It is a pleasure for my colleagues and me to welcome you in Reggio Emilia for this important conference and scientific event. Uh, the Department of Education and uh, Humanities is very happy and grateful uh, to Rita Bertozzi for inviting you and for offering to you and us the possibility of this encounter, even if it is a virtual one, at least for the moment. Uh, the city in which you are hosted or virtually hosted uh, today uh, is uh, a city that has a special place in the history of education in our country. Uh, during the 60s uh, in uh, this country, the experience of uh, women mostly generated an experience of education mostly oriented to the early childhood that is a sample and a brand, so to say, in the entire uh, global community. Uh, an experience in which uh, uh, the young kids, uh, the young children, uh, were at the center and subject, the only object of uh, educational processes. And this experience is also the reason that, uh, uh, some 25 years ago, uh, oriented the national system of university uh, to develop one of the most ancient universities in Italy, the University of Modena, in a different uh, shape and a different uh, uh, structure. The university was uh, uh, paralleled by a different uh, uh, series of departments in the city of Reggio Emilia, and it was to a certain extent natural uh, to think uh, to have in this city a department of uh, education that is uh, since 1996 uh, developed by colleagues and the students working on primary school teachers, uh, working on uh, the organization of pedagogical services and the general broad line of uh, education. Uh, since then, the department has grown in terms of professors and uh, students, and uh, this year uh, has taken an initiative that is uh, now uh, very visible in uh, the city, and all of you will have the chance to walk in the street of Reggio Emilia in this uh, days, so will uh, see it very clearly. Uh, as you know, uh, the last November was the anniversary of uh, the Convention and Declaration of the United Nations concerning childhood the 30th and the 6th anniversary of two important instruments uh, defining the rights of young kids and the rights of children and uh, young uh, people. Uh, these documents, if you have had a chance to look at it, uh, document, as you have seen probably, is a very cold and diplomatic uh, document. The negotiation that has uh, been developed by the countries and uh, the member states and other nations for this develop a text that is not a very poetic one, but is a very useful one, because uh, it is uh, the evidence uh, that the international community uh, is aligning feelings and laws, initiative and desires in order to prevent uh, young kids and uh, children from any type of abuse, violence and to heal as much as possible uh, the wounds created by uh, disaster, wars, uh, plagues, uh, famine. Uh, for celebrating this uh, event, the department and uh, the city has decided to take uh, a, a partnership with the YTT yesterday, today and tomorrow. Uh, that is an organization, maybe well known to you, uh, working in the refugee camps uh, all over the world, uh, trying to offer to young uh, people and to uh, young adults and adults an opportunity to reflect and to re-elaborate the trauma of uh, uh, displacement. Uh, YTT is asking to many people uh, to uh, draw the experience that is uh, their own yesterday, uh, to have uh, in this way uh, a basis to reflect on what is there today and what will be there tomorrow as they may hope it. Uh, so with YTT, the Department of Education and Humanities and the City of Reggio Emilia decided to select uh, a certain number of drawings uh, that have been reproduced in large uh, flags and that are now decorating uh, the city. The reason of this initiative is, as I said, based on what uh, the department is, the city is, 
uh, in the field of education and uh, the reason to do this with flags is also related to the history of this uh, town. As you may be aware of, uh, uh, the national Italian flag uh, was uh, created and adopted for the first time in its uh, colors in this uh, city in um, 1797. And uh, for this reason, the city is a, a national flag city. So we decided to transform the drawings of uh, the YTT uh, interlocutors in the refugee camps in great flags that are now decorating uh, the city. At, and uh, these flags are remembering to all of us uh, the disaster that is related to displacement and uh, wars. Uh, the drawings are made by kids uh, uh, of uh, different ages. Uh, some of them are uh, mixed with the drawings made by other kids with less tragic history, but the sense of this initiative is to remember that migration is not part of something that is far away from what are the challenges of an educational system, but are at the core of the educational uh, system. And when we opened this exhibition in the city of in the streets of the city of Reggio in November, uh, some of the drawings that uh, uh, we selected uh, were, in a certain sense, disturbing because they are showing uh, kids crying for what they had to live and to walk uh, through. Uh, they were describing uh, the sorrow and the pain of people uh, into the refugee camps, uh, the desire for freedom uh, that in many cases is denied, and the need of education that is uh, one of the most profound desire of young uh, boys and girls in uh, despair. But what happened from March on also to this country uh, was very speaking for all uh, of us. Uh, the experience uh, of uh, uh, confinement uh, during the coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, disaster has uh, told to us that uh, every young life is exposed to uh, trauma. Every young life is exposed to uh, possible uh, pain and sorrow that comes unexpected. And uh, the role of education, the role of uh, a civil community is to be prepared for this. And to be prepared listening to the sorrow of the people that is now in the situation and preparing themselves to a life of uh, compassion in which education may be uh, one of the most important aspects in uh, this sense. Uh, as I've seen from the program of your uh, conference, uh, the issues that you are taking are not related to very specific uh, individuals or a situation. They have a very interesting and broad uh, aspect. The educational passport that UNESCO is encouraging in order to uh, recognize uh, the training and the education of displaced people is one of the most important aspects that I've seen in your work. But in general, uh, for us, uh, it is a great joy and a great honor to welcome a so important uh, event and to offer a contribution and to welcome you in order to make of the issue of migration and education a central point of the public debate and the scientific research. So, welcome to the Gemilia. Welcome to the Department of Education and Humanities.